Now let's say this two link manipulator was not actually planar and it had a third joint that's prismatic and goes in the minus D direction. How will we calculate the Jacobian for this? Well, from a bird's eye view, it actually looks just like the two link manipulator we had before. except on the end of it, we've got this box. So a lot of the Jacobian will be the same, but instead it's going to be in three dimensions and we have to add on for this prismatic joint. So let's go back and write the origins for the other stuff like we did before. So procedure. So the origins here look pretty similar. The only difference is that for joints one and two, they're up at a height of H1. So instead of zero, we have H1. Now for origin three, the height is going to be H1 minus D3 because it's going down. Other than that, it's the same as the origin for joint two. And the z-axis vector for joint two, this time it's pointing down and so is joint three. So that will just be zero, zero and minus one. So now that we've got the origins in the z-axis six vectors, let's plug in the formulas for jv and j omega. So we know j equals jv, j omega, and we need the formulas for each one. So for the first two joints, those are revolute. So we'll have Z0 cross with O3 minus O0. And then Z0 for joint one. Then for the second joint, we'll have Z1 because we need to go ZI minus one. So two minus one is one cross with ON, which is three minus O i minus one, which is O one and Z one. Now for the third joint, this is prismatic. So the JV is just going to be the Z vector, Z i minus one, which for the third joint would be Z two. And then it has no angular motion, so zero. So if we do out these, then for the cross product, we'll do Z0 and Z1 are both 0, 0, 001. Shortcut cross product over here. And then we'll have of X, a Y, O, Z. So this comes out to be So then we can just plug those into here. So ZO cross with O3 minus OO. Well, O3 minus OO is just O3 because OO is zero. So if we plug those in, we'll have the minus Y and then the X. Then we got this one in the bottom because Z0 is just 0, 0, 1. So then similarly for the next joint, joint two, we'll have O3 minus O1, which is basically just O3 minus the O1 stuff. And then for the third joint, we'll just have the Z axis vector and then zeros. Now before, this, since it was a two-dimensional robot, we could shrink the Jacobian down to a two by two, but instead we can't. We have three joints and we're operating in 3D space, which means actually six degrees of freedom. So this means the Jacobian is six by three.